Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with cabbage, sausage, and potato soup. I discovered this recipe probably several months ago and I have made it so many times since. Howard and I really love it. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box, but it just has breakfast sausage, it has fresh uh, potatoes, cabbage, chicken broth, and seasonings, and it is so good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are using up these wings. I had these in my freezer. Tyson Anytizer Applewood Smoked, and we've never had them before, so all I did is bake them in the oven. It said to cook them at 400 for about 30 minutes and spray your cookie sheet, and so that's what I did. And then in the pantry, I had this shells and cheddar, back to nature, um, mac and cheese that I needed to use, so I'm using that. And then I also had some fresh corn, so I steamed that. Howard likes his corn plain, no butter, no salt, no pepper. I am going to put some better salt and pepper on my corn. This is Howard's plate. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some barbecue chicken Howard grilled out for us, um, some legs, and I made some fried cabbage. We are also having some fresh corn on the cob, um, and we are having butter and garlic noodles. So we are using these pastaroni noodles. We really like them a lot. And for dessert, I made some cupcakes. I have made these before. They are from the Cheesecake Factory, and here they are. These are so good. They taste way better than the regular box cupcakes. I cut one open so that you can see it. And even though it does look dense, it is really, really a light cake, and it has a really good vanilla flavor. So um, this was in my pantry, and I wanted to use it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Mexican chicken chowder. I have been making this soup for years and years, and I love it. It is a quick and simple soup using pantry items and i did record a video on this about a year ago and i'll make sure to link it in the description box so mexican chicken chowder is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time hey guys so for dinner tonight we are having egg roll in a bowl of course ours is on a plate with some um, stir fried broccoli on the side and i've never made this before of course i've been hearing about it for years so I made mine with ground pork and a package of coleslaw mix. And I will make sure to leave this recipe in the description box. Um, the other week I tried ramen egg roll skillet and that was actually pretty good. Um, I ended up liking it more than I, when I originally tasted it, I really, actually really liked it a lot. So I will leave that what's for dinner video in the description box too so that you can see that ramen um, noodle egg roll in a bowl. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled hamburgers. Howard grilled out for us. So here is mine, it is plain. He did toast our buns for us. I just have cheese on mine, and he melted the cheese on the grill, which is why it looks like that. It's actually cheddar. And then I'm having some barbecue potato chips from Winco, which is a grocery store around here. And he is also having um, a cheeseburger as well. He's added tomatoes and mayo to his, and he is having some kettle cooked smoked Gouda chips, also from Winco. And here is what they look like. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.